I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years. But no one stumped me more than the princess. Very high maintenance. Yeah. I like it, though. I think I'm good. Huh? I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next six weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. That's $900. That's really cute on, and I have my mom's credit card. Huh, I don't really want to curve my shopping ever. I like it. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver. And I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. If she wants something, she's going to get it. Don't do specials. Well, no one else wants it. No one wants. No changes, no money. Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Katie. My name is Katie, and I'm a full-time nanny. This 24-year-old princess earns just over $2,000 a month and spends that money even faster than she makes it. Thank you so Great. much. Katie figures money just grows on trees. It's cute. She can't go to the mall without buying anything. I like more expensive labels because the mall can be seen wearing something that everyone else wears. She loves to spend money. Because Katie lives at home with her mom and doesn't pay any rent, she feels entitled to spend whatever, whenever. I get my hair colored every three to four weeks. I get a blow dry at least twice a week. Manicures once a month, tanning twice a week. I get Botox every couple months. Oh, the Botox at 23 is outrageous. I think she's waiting for paparazzis to jump out of a bush and take some pictures of her. And what's a princess without her accessories? For all the bags, when she goes shopping, the trunk's probably the perfect purchase for her. And a designer dog. So I just bought a Chinese Sharpay. And that was a shock, because we had always said no dogs in the house. I could have asked them, but I know they would have said no. It's created tension between myself and my spouse. But it doesn't seem to bother Katie one bit. I borrow money from my parents quite frequently. My mom's like my fifth credit card, always borrowing money from her. How much I are they? Them. 350. Oh, that's a lot. Come Mom, on, Katie. They're suede, though. They're... I don't even buy shoes for 350. Mom, you don't spend any money. Maybe those ones on special over there you should look at. Don't do specials. Well, no one else wants it. It's the sh no one wants. Am I an enabler? Absolutely. Sometimes it's not worth the headache, it's not worth the argument. How much are they? 500. I know better as a parent, but when it's your own child, it's hard to say no. I guess we'll take those, please. 565, please. I want to sell the house the next year or two. That's probably my goal in life, is to travel more. But Katie's not ready for that. I mean, she's got the full run of a beautiful house, so who would want to change that? Katie's family and friends have reached their limits. Cutting Katie off would benefit her, definitely. It's something that needs to happen. This is it, no more. Now they've called me in to play hardball. For a young lady with a limited income, you mm -hmm. have racked up a lot of debt. I live at home still so I can get out of it quickly. Do you pay any rent at all? My parents don't make me pay rent right now. Why do you have any debt at all? Because I like to shop. You run up your own cards. Mm -hmm. You come home and you beg for money. Yeah and your mom gives in. So let's listen to what your stepbrother Chris has to say. She's gotten so comfortable with this lifestyle. Such a shallowness, like she's, she could have a lot of depth to her. If she just expanded herself beyond, beyond fashion. The Botox thing, <laughs> like I thought that was something you got when you're like 60 maybe. So what does it cost you for a Botox treatment? Four or five hundred dollars. You know, age mm -hmm. is something you can't avoid. No. You're going to age. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do then? Well, you can always get your hair done. <laughs> Always get your hair done. Let's see what your dad has to say about you. I think she just doesn't think. She looks at something, and she gets it in her mind that she wants it, she needs it, and at the end of the month, all of a sudden, there's a four or $500 shortfall of no money to pay for those things, and that's usually when uh, she comes sniffing around or crawling around to uh, beg or borrow. Do you hit your dad up for money pretty often? Not as much as my mom. Can we see what your mom has to say? Okay. Katie is dependent on me. She doesn't stop asking, and, and she knows that. I mean, eventually, you know, if you ask, 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 you'll get, get, get. Your mom goes away a fair amount on business, mm -hmm. and your stepdad's away a lot. So you're in this house alone. Mm -hmm. So what do you eat? So my mom pre make me foods out the heat up. You're a 24-year-old woman, and your mother's still cooking for you. Mm -hmm. Do you think she's actually going to stick to her guns and cut you off this time? Maybe with your help. All right, you know what? The very next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the actual dollars and cents of this. I don't want to see the black and white numbers. <gasps> Are you ready for this? Yes. You have a sense that what you're doing isn't right, mm -hmm. and so if you don't face it, you don't have to deal with it. How much debt does Katie have? Close to 20000 I you think. think so? It's not. Whoa. This doesn't include the $2,000 you just borrowed from your dad. Katie, that's a lot of money. Yeah. That's terrible. When Gail went through my finances, I was really scared. 
You're spending 0% of your income on savings. You're spending about 8% of your income on debt repayment. It's not enough, because it's not getting you out of debt. You're spending about $600 a month, which is about 26% of your income, on your needs. What do we classify as needs? That's the stuff that keeps a roof over your head, okay. food in your stomach, keeps your car on the road. Okay. And you're spending 68% of your income on self-indulgence. I always told you, decide if it's a want or a need. So I'm glad to see now that you've I actually broke it off more. that way. I want you to add up these numbers. 1,700 plus 600. 23, 25. 2,500. How much do you make? Um, 22 mm -hmm. a month after taxes. So you're not making enough? No. And in fact, your parents are subsidizing you because there's the car insurance, the cell, cell phone. phone bill. I mean, you're old enough to have a cell phone and you're not old enough to pay your own cell phone bill? Yeah. Did it upset her? I don't know. I haven't seen that yet. So I can't say whether it upset her enough to really change. Then we came up with this. Oh my gosh, Katie. That's a lot of money. Katie. That's just beauty. Mm -hmm. There isn't an item of clothing in this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is just what you're spending on your face and your body. That's crazy. You're spending like you're a starlet. I have to cut back on my spending on beauty. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll have to, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to wear hats. Right now you're making, as you said, about $2,200 a month, which is about $31,000 a year gross. To spend what you are spending right now, you would have to gross $46,000 a year. If you were also to pay off your debt, you would have to make $62,000 a year. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Double. Make. And if you were paying your own way and using credit to fill the gap, you'd be going into debt to the tune of $2,300 every month. Mm -hmm. Your sense of entitlement is enormous. This is where you take control of your money and your life. If you do the challenges that I ask you to do, mm -hmm. I'll give you up to $5,000. Okay. You don't do the challenges, you don't get the money. And if you don't have the right attitude, you don't get the money. Okay. You have to step up to the plate and start taking responsibility for yourself. Okay, you can learn to stand on your own two feet. Okay. You're gonna learn to live within your means. Okay. And you're gonna stop tapping all the wallets around you. Good. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. So this is where you are going to start being a grown-up. Coming up, Katie's on her own. I'm not looking forward to anything. Katie, this what is very do? good. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. Katie's a 24-year-old princess whose income is going up in smoke. She was like, Mom, I need a pack of cigarettes, 100 bucks. And her family is fed up with funding Katie's expenses. This is it. No more. I'm cutting her off. This overgrown teenager has no intention of giving up the comforts of home. But with her mom ready to sell up and move on, it's time for Katie to grow up. We've taken away her credit and debit cards, and she's going to start living on cash. She's got to complete my challenges and earn up to $5,000. With her mother on side, I brought Katie here to give her her first dose of reality. And so we come to your first challenge. You're gonna live on $150 a week. But what about Kingston's food and my food and gas? Yes. Oh my God. The first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make a debt repayment plan. I know. Because you can't just walk around with a debt forever. That's it. You have to have a plan to get it paid off. Mm -hmm. Then you have to make a budget. It's very good. The other thing is, is that you're moving into this apartment. Oh you will my be God. here for a month. Oh, my gosh. By myself? All by yourself. Oh, my gosh. The first challenge. Oh, I can't help but smile. Oh, my God. Katie, this is very do? good. Oh, my God. I'm a little bit worried about living on my own because there's no cooking lessons, so I don't know. I'm just gonna be thrown into like the wolf's den. Uh, I wanted Katie to step into adulthood and stop relying on mom. In her quest for self-reliance, Katie takes her first solo trip to the grocery store. Katie is used to a life of pre-made meals. Why so expensive? But with only $150 in her weekly budget, that's just not an option. <gasps> everything you were looking for? I can afford everything I was looking for for a budget, but... So your total is $84.81. Okay. With a budget of only $150 a week, Katie spent more than half of it on food, which doesn't leave her a lot for other variable expenses, like gas, 
and entertainment. Oh my God, shopping for groceries sucked. It was so hard to buy dry money. I couldn't afford anything. Since she needs to stick close to home, Katie decided to invite her friend Remy over for a tasty lunch for two. I'm a little scared about Katie making lunch for me because I don't know if Katie can cook anything. This is stressful. I know. It must be really stressful for you if I'm this stressed out right now. I'm stressed too. Okay, well, I think it's done. I don't think it's too late at 24 for anyone to change, but for Katie, it would be a, 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 a big change. Um, <laughs> it's really, really salty. Oh, it sucked. It didn't turn out so well. It was really gross. <laughs> Can you give me the recipe for this cake? I think eggs aren't my specialty. Aren't you gonna eat your own food? I'm allergic to eggs, Remy. You know so that. Why would you cook this? I cooked it for you out of my first house guest. I clean for you, I cook, I cook nice for you, and all you come in here is insult my food, try to insult everything. I work so hard. I didn't really enjoy cooking for someone else. I would say next time, maybe I'll go to her house. With reality setting in, Katie got to work on her budget. She just came to this binder and expects me to do all this stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do. While she's used to spending all of her money and more on herself, that's changing. She's going to start paying her mom 35% of her income in rent. And even though she has lots of debt, I told Katie that she needs to include savings for both long-term and emergencies. Without savings, any unexpected cost sends you back to credit. That can be a major setback on your road to getting to debt-free. How did you find living on the cash? I find like I have no money left at the end of the week. That's because you have no money left at the end of the week. I can't buy kinks and any special bones. I can't get my eyebrows done. And... You can't cook. No. Uh -huh. You made some pathetic excuse for frittata? I tried. Cooking is a life skill. That's the whole point of being in your own place, is to develop the very skills you're going to need to be on your own. Have you given your mummy so much as a penny in rent yet? I did. I put like $250 each week. Really? Yes. Did she give you any special break on the rent? Well, she said with being my landlord, she's going to include Kingston's food and my smokes in it. It's very hard to break these princesses of their bad habits when their parents enable them. There isn't a landlord out there that will include dog food and cigarettes in the rent. So Katie's mom can't either. A girl who would spend money to Botox her face yeah. should not be smoking cigarettes. It's a little bit contradictory. Money is a limited resource mm -hmm. and it runs out. Yeah. What's been happening so far is that you have not been letting it run out because you've been backfilling with credit. Mm -hmm. So my question is this. When did you have a plan to pay off all the debt? After I met you. <laughs> Coming up. We expected you at 10. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Only weeks ago, Katie was a princess with a lot of debt and no plans for the future. I've been challenging her to start taking control of her money and her life. But is she truly ready to hang up her tiara? It's $900. That's a really cute on, and I have my mom's credit card. Katie is passionate about her dog, Kingston, and you can tell by how much money she spends on him. <laughs> so this week, instead of spending, she's going to be giving back. Are you wondering why we're standing in a pet store? Like, you guys like all this me? great stuff. Well, the reason we are here is because we're coming to your giving back challenge. Okay. There are a whole group of people who benefit from interacting with an animal they can't actually have mm -hmm. themselves. And I want you to get involved with a group that uses animals mm -hmm. in order to comfort or help people. That's what you are going to do this week. That's so fun. Okay, I like good. That. Service dogs visit nursing homes, hospitals, and other locations to interact with the residents. Because Kingston is not yet qualified as a service animal, he couldn't participate in this challenge, but that didn't hold Katie back. My name's Katie. Yours is Katie. Yes, nice oh, to meet you. Oh boy, you got cold hands. I do, it's so chilly outside. Not only do post-secondary schools look for volunteer experience when selecting applicants to their most popular programs, but volunteering in your community looks great on your resume too. Katie wants to start a new career after finishing school, so building her resume now is a smart idea. <laughs> she likes your feet. <laughs> she engaged the residents quite well. She had a strange dog. It was the first time she'd done this uh, particular thing. She did quite well. I think she's liking these streets. I got more. Duchess. <laughs> I just enjoy the dog so much. I'm going to get my ass in gear to see if I can give back with Kingston. She's starting to get real about her money and debt, but the one lesson I'm not sure she's learned is to give up her impulsive decisions. 
At 24, Katie's attended more than one vocational program, only to decide that the work really isn't for her. Recently, she's been accepted to a pharmacy technician program at a pricey private college. She's going to rack up even more debt training for a career I'm not convinced she's really committed to. So I designed a special temptation challenge. You have a tendency to just leap into things, Katie. So this challenge, you're going to test drive your new career. You are now going to get an opportunity to spend the day working in a pharmacy Okay. and learning what's involved so that you can see whether you are in fact well suited to this job. I'm Katie, nice to meet you. Okay. Welcome to the Method Shop. Thank you so much for having me. Come on through. Okay, thank you. We expected you at 10. Oh my gosh. You were a few minutes late today, but... Sorry. If you come in a few minutes early, 5 to 10, that's for it's a good thing to do. I like it to be a little bit more professional. We're in a, a medical building environment. It reminds me of my grandfather, very strict in their ways, you know, very proper. Are you cold? Okay. Because oh, your, your lab coat is all... Oh. Let's get you all tidied up and look smart. Because okay. this is a professional pharmacy. Okay. These young kids, that's the way they... That's today's market. But I don't personally like it. That's great. Okay. My first impression of Katie was that, you know, she didn't seem totally there. So we've got a lot of prescriptions to do. Mm -hmm. All of these, and a lot of people are waiting. Okay. So we have to do it really fast. Okay. And then she kind of got more into it as she went along. This is from another store. Okay. Um, the baby won't take it. We're going to reflavor it, and um, with a little luck, the baby will take it. Okay, if the baby doesn't take it, I can make it from scratch. As long as she takes it, that's... Okay, so pour all of this into there. Okay. You Is this a strawberry flavor? Yeah, good. Squeeze that into the bottle. Perfect. So pour this back in. Okay. We're making a difference in that mm -hmm. little child's life because they're going to take the medication. Mm -hmm. And tell you what we've done. There you go. So what mixed, did you do? We mixed some strawberry flavor into it. So it should taste more strawberry now, less cherry. Let's taste it. Tastes like strawberry. It's very like strawberry. She seems like she could do well in this job. It actually surprised me. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. She'd be a good part of any team. Coming up, Judgment Day. Have you done your research? No. Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. When I first met Kitty, I wasn't convinced that this little princess wanted to change. Let me get this straight now. You live at home rent free. Mm -hmm. Your mom cooks for you. I'm very lucky. She was spending every penny she made and more on self indulgence. Would you like to book your next appointment? Same time yes, for next same week. Same time next week. Okay, for you. Oh, I don't no. want that. Okay, I forgot, sorry. Spending a month living on her own for the first time ever gave Katie a crash course on the basics of being a grown-up. And she's starting to get serious about her plans for the future, beginning a career and paying off her debt. Before I deliver my final verdict, I first want to check in with Katie's mother. I wanted to talk to you before we brought Katie in. Yes. So have you seen a change? I have. Definitely no credit cards is a very good sign. Yes. Putting money away yes. is, is very good. Has she been paying you rent? Yes, she's been starting to give me $200 of pay. Okay. Katie definitely is looking more at what she needs to do for her life versus what I need to do for her. So she spent an entire month away from you living in that apartment. What did you do? I went to Buffalo, and uh, it was it's nice. nice to have it a was, life again. It's lovely. It? I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> and so you've actually put a time limit on how long Katie has once she's finished school. Eight to nine months. Right. Yes. So let's see what Katie has to say about her life and okay. as a princess. Katie, my darling, come in. It seems to not be as scary anymore when I think about my credit cards, and I can actually open the statements and look at them rather than just toss them in the garbage. So what was the biggest lesson you learned this month? Probably to save. It was a good learning experience. I learned about budgeting. I learned about paying my credit cards. My, you know, I don't need to always have my hair done. I can do my own hair and makeup. And how much have you saved over the last four or five weeks? Like six hundred dollars. Okay. You lived in the apartment for a month. Mm -hmm. Did you ever learn to cook anything? Yeah, I cooked. I cooked tacos. I cooked all my pasta sauce. How did it feel being independent? I guess it's a good idea. It was just a really lonely experience. When you went to the home, you were lovely. You were charming. 
You were really good with people who were older. You did very well working in the pharmacy, and everybody seemed to think that that was a, an area that you would be good at. You're good with people. Mm -hmm. One of the things that surprised me was you didn't do this constant whining about the cigarette break. Uh -huh. Are you still smoking? Yeah. Okay, so you know what? No more Botox if she doesn't quit smoking. I haven't done no. Look at I can move my forehead. There's been no Botox I in a while. I can move my forehead. <laughs> I'm definitely proud with Katie for the whole process because she definitely, a couple times there, she probably was going to give up. A few things you didn't do. You made a budget and a debt repayment plan. But because you're going back to school and taking on more debt through student loans, it's going to be a few years before you're totally debt free. Are you enjoying the course you're taking? I love it. And when you get to the end of that, have you done your research now in terms of what the cost will be to pay off your debt, mm -hmm. including your student loans, mm -hmm. keep your car going, mm -hmm. and put a roof over your head? Have you thought that through? No, not mm -hmm. yet. So that's something you yeah. still have to do then. At the very beginning, I told you I wanted you to put all your money through your bank account. Yeah. And you didn't do that. No. You sort of circumvented it. Mm -hmm. Those are indicators to me that you still haven't embraced all the steps mm -hmm. you have to take in order to manage your money well. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed Gail's tough love approach and it was good. It obviously worked well. So I have for you today a check for $4,000. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you very much. Put it to good use. I will. Thank you, you have a lot of student loan to pay down. I know, I'm so happy. <laughs> I think you're like well on your way. I think it's really fair and generous and it's going to go to good cause. So I'm really, really ecstatic right now about my amount. I got given I'm still a princess. Huh? I'm still a princess, but a smart princess. I can tell, I can tell she loves to go. Shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.